Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to uh, what should be part four but is actually really part three. Um, I have a horrible confession to make and I am a bit of a twat. Um, basically I did a really long part two video, probably 25-30 minutes of me adding in basic flesh and everything else and my phone didn't record it. So the video will go part one straight into part three and then on to this one. Um, and I am um, I'm really sorry about that but before I start on this one I thought I'd at least give you a quick run through of where I'm actually at on the Ogryn. So the first thing is um, you can see there's quite a, a spread of contrast on the model and that's something I really I, I am specifically wanting to achieve because I'm going to put some uh, some source lighting and stuff on it later on. So um, we've got a very dark area here around the back and then lightening up here. What I've done is I've put shading back in again using uh, pink flesh um, just to soften the shades and then I'm going to go in again and put the lights back on in a few places and then we're going to stubble it all and stuff anyway so but before I started to do that I wanted to show you the depth of the texturing in the skin because now it's all dry you can see the translucency so as you can see you can see all the freckles and moles and blemishes and spots and whatever some appear on the surface, some like this appear several layers down in the skin um, and I really like the contrast that that provides and of course you've got the same with the veining so you've got veining that appears more on the surface and then you've got real deep veins that you can barely see it just gives you a nice sort of contrast to the model, I like, particularly like veining on the temples uh, and then I've started to put in the scars and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of tattoos, if I do do any tattoos or anything else. But the first thing I'm going to do is just set the, the model to the point where I'm, I'm happy with the airbrush work. And then I'll go in and start refining the shades uh, and the lights with a brush. Um, so if we just put the dude down here. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is use uh, Scale 75 Pale Skin. Um, and I'm going to put the final lights on the model. So just the final soft spot highlights, the, the bits where it's catching the most light possible. And then I'm going to put a filter over the top of those just to tie it all in. Um, but for the meantime, I'm just going to set up some of this white in the airbrush or this uh, pale skin. So pale skin is a very, very, very off-white, kind of just slight pinkish white, basically. It's uh, very, very pale. So we don't want to use too much <clears throat> and I'm also going to have to then transition it back in with a filter otherwise it will look too stark and it will look like I've painted the model white and we don't really want that the model doesn't require that level of contrast um, so I am uh, I'm in the studio obviously uh, and today it's minus five outside in the UK feels like about minus six or seven and for some of you all over the world that will be nothing but here because it's really humid it's cold um, which is interesting but look, luckily the dehumidifiers and the heating in the studio work a treat so I've got no problems okay so what I am now doing is just just running a bit of color just because I want to see how soft the light is. I'm going to put it on my hand now for the hand test. Okay, so you can see this colour is very thin. So the air pressure is actually okay. We're on the, the fine line between when it would powder, but actually I want it like that. I don't want it too fast, because if I increase the pressure a little bit with the micro adjust now, you can see it starts to blow. See? See? So I'm going to just dial the pressure back and just keep it on the point of powdering. And it doesn't matter if it speckles because the skin is full of speckles. Okay. So here we go. I need to. I'll try and do this on camera because I'm a bit crap at that, and I need to really think about where I'm going to put these lights. So I might go quiet for a little while. So I am going to start with the collarbone here. Yeah, that 
is a little too, a little too speckly. Okay, so let's just set the pressure back up and I'll just have to rely on superior airbrush skills. There must be a squirrel in the back garden. Yeah, I am not overly happy with the pigmentation on this colour yet. So I'm going to thicken it up a little bit just by adding in a bit more pigment. And then we'll readjust the pressures because I've come too far in the model to make a mistake because I'm too lazy to change it so let's have a look and see let's just black through the old colour and let's see what we've got now yeah that's better okay here we go yeah that's great that's much smoother Now on this bit on the head, I'm going to particularly on purpose put a circular highlight in because of the volume as a circle here. And the same on the nose. And then this ridge of the eye here. Okay. And I think I will do the bridge of the nose as well. Just do a small bit here. Okay, I'm going to do just the apex of this collarbone here. What I'm doing off camera on my hand 
is um, basically letting paint run through the airbrush so more gets coated on the needle and that means that when it comes to actually adding the lights I don't have to withdraw the needle as far to get a small coverage A bit of shit in the bottom. Yeah, brush. I'm just cleaning that out there. Make sure I've got the top of the ear as well. There's a balance to be struck here. And I just don't want to mess that balance up. I'm going to do the top knuckle of the spine or the top vertebrae. cheek. I suppose I could add a light just on the top of the lip but not much of one because I don't want it to that sort of take away from the stubble that I'm going to be putting on there. light here as well, another soft circular one. Not so soft. One more little bit on the Adam's apple. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there for a second and I'll come back and do another video in a minute.